This is the story of my magic bus. It's your basic 2003 Ford Econoline E250 cargo van. And this is what it looked like prior to its metamorphosis. The first step in the process for me was to build the platform for the bed. I threw in some felt to uh, help with the squeaks when we're moving. And I got started on the compartment wall that's going to house the bike and have a bunch of storage cabinets. And here's the cabinet wall, more or less roughed out and almost finished. And here we see a hole cut in for the water inlet. Uh, you can see the water pump right next to the hole there. And from the outside, getting ready to install the water inlet. And here I'm fitting in the Norcold AC-DC fridge. And it's about time to install the sink. Picked up at Home Depot, all in one faucet and sink. And the next section I tackled was uh, fitting in some overhead bins for some more storage. Do a little countertop which is going to have a cutlery drawer and some more storage cabinets. Here you can see all the carpentry is taking shape. We've got the uh, overhead LED light installed there in the center. And here I'm installing the all important 145 watt each solar panels. Picked these up on Amazon.com and uh, they're about 320 bucks, which is a steal. They kick out about, you know, 14 volts and uh, up to about 14 or 15 amps. And I put a little cabinet in aft uh, just to hold a few things that I might want to get to from from the rear of the vehicle. And here you can see the installed Blue Star solar controller feeding the batteries from the solar panels, as well as a little circuit breaker there and a thousand watt power inverter. So I can run some AC. I uh, got that from West Marine, that was about a hundred bucks. Here you can see I've got a little outdoor shower that I can use, gotta keep clean. And here I've got uh, installed near the ceiling another LED light. It's actually, you know, typical white LEDs and it also goes red just for a little change of ambiance. And I had a little extra wood so I decided to go ahead and finish some panels onto the doors. A little nice finishing touch. At this point the build's pretty much done, the carpentry at least, and uh, I'm ready to uh, go ahead and throw in my mattress. Got the mattress at uh, overstock.com. I think it was about 170 or 80 bucks. Uh, nice six inch. 54 inch by 72 inch memory foam. And at this point, she's basically a magic bus. Welcome to the magic bus. Got water from the faucet and water from the shower. And there's the Norcold fridge freezer can operate off of AC or DC. And a little tour of the inside when it's finished. Uh, you can see here I got my little laptop on a little desk that's removable. And my finished countertop, a couple of cabinets, and a cutlery slash utility drawer. And you can see the overhead bins for a little extra storage. And when I don't need any desk space, I just simply put it away. And here we have the Genius battery charger by NOCO. It's a smart charger, puts out about 7 amps, so we'll see how that does. A quick look at the uh, cabinets. I've got a little mini hanging closet there. It's difficult to see, but the hanger rod there is actually a recycled broken hockey stick. And we have the other three cabinets, each with a shelf built in there. Should have some good space for clothing and stuff like that. And again, we have the Blue Star solar controller. We've got that 1,000 watt power inverter. And an outlet for, a cigarette outlet for USBs or whatever 12 volt accessories you want to power. Here we have the hatch uh, forward on the bed. It uh, gives me access to uh, 100 amp AML fuse as well as the batteries. 
obviously the storage, and you can notice again the uh, recycled use of the broken hockey stick. Batteries are uh, DECA, 6 volts in series, uh, about uh, 220 amp hours, and uh, they're relatively cheap actually, about 100 bucks each. Here in the bike compartment you can see the uh, 9 gallon water tank that I've got uh, set there. The added bonus of having the uh, hatch cover propped open like that for the batteries, then it makes a really nice chaise lounge area. I think this would be perfect for watching sunrises, sunsets, checking out vistas. Pretty comfortable. And that is the magic bus. Now all that's left is to see if I can fit all my stuff in. So let's give it a shot. Here I am uh, putting in the uh, mountain bike. It's, uh, it's tight, but it all does fit. Next in is the surfboard, a uh, file box, and a storage bin that I can throw a bunch of stuff in, and some hockey equipment. Now we can put some stuff into the cabinets, clothing, bags, whatnot. Now there's one last big item that I'd really love to be able to set up, so let's give it a shot. And apparently I have enough room to set up my rolling kit and jam away. Well, that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed the video or found it useful if you're doing a similar build. If you have any questions, drop me a line. And uh, getting ready to go cross country for a while, so I'm going to hopefully see a lot of great things, meet a lot of great people, have some stories. If you'd like to follow the trip at all, uh, please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, check out my webpage, or uh, read the blog. Happy trails all!